Hello there, my name is Michael Maynard and welcome back to Gorilla Picking. Now, we have got an incredibly cool lock to have a look at today, courtesy of Randy Perkins over in the US. Randy, thank you, I am incredibly grateful um, that you've sent this lock over. It was part of a package that came over a little while ago and uh, honestly it is a beautiful beautiful lock now it is a thing called a scandinavian oval and uh, i will just zoom in on this a little bit so the scandinavian ovals are a slightly larger profile than a normal oval so in new zealand here we're used to the lock with 570. Um, this is a little bit bigger than that um, but it's also bigger in another dimension as well if you have a look at the top there you will see seven pins. So this is a seven pinner, and I've got to say, it is a very, very cool lock. Now, the Scandinavians do not have the same trouble that the Europeans have. The Europeans have a whole lot of trouble um, with their locks being snapped. Now, you can't snap a Scandi, it just doesn't work. So they build them big and massive. They build in some anti-drill protection. So you can see at the front of the lock here, um, we have got two anti-drill pins which will go down the, uh, the front here. Um, and there is probably some anti-drill protection in the core as well. But I have picked this once, but I have not got into it yet. I have not pulled it apart. So I am going to be very interested to find out what's in here. And uh, I'll tell you more about that in a second. Now, I'll tell you what I have done, though. Um, I have taken the deformable cliff, uh, clip off the back. So um, these things have a, a, a large tail piece and then a huge deformable chunk of metal here to hold everything together. Um, now I have pried that off already and I have replaced it with a standard circlip there um, but I have not yet disassembled the lock so it is going to be fascinating to see what's in there. And that brings me to how the thing picks. Uh, it picks like a challenge lock. There is absolutely no other way to put it. So um, I, I think like I was saying, the Scandinavians don't have to worry about mitigation for um, uh, lock snapping, um, but clearly they worry about anti-pick features. And um, I, I don't know what's in here yet, okay, but there are some obvious uh, anti-pick measures in here of some kind or another. So, with all that said, um, again, Randy, thank you a thousand times for, um, for sending this over. What we are going to do now is clamp this thing up. You can see it's got a fairly big wide keyway. Um, so we're going to clamp it up, get a pick in there, and see what we find. Back in a second, folks. Okay, folks. Well, here is our bizarre Scandinavian oval, and... There is its key. Now it's a nice wide open keyway so um, we can use top of the keyway tension that is the thickest uh, pry bar that I've got, that's the Sparrows one and I'm using a Peterson gem. I'm using a Peterson gem in 15 thousandths actually just because that's what I've got not because it needs a thin pick. Okay so little click on 7, nothing on 6, counter rotation and set on 5 Click on four, nothing on three, nothing on two, one, one kind of clicked. Okay, feels very, very much like a challenge lock. Nudge seven, dropped into a little bit more of a false set. Six is counter rotating this time. And has Set, or at least it's certainly not going anywhere. Five counter rotates and clicks. Four clicks. Three. I'm not sure if I'm over setting three. I'll come back to that. Two. Nothing. And one a little click. Okay, down to the back. Seven will go. There we go, right eight. Well, I lost my place. Get under there, pick. Is 
Here we go. Okay. Counter rotation there on four. Not much else. Oh yeah, okay, and one sets again. Nudge seven. Six feels set. Five feels set. Four feels set. Three feels set. Two feels set. Got a little click out of it. One might also feel set. Okay. Seven nothing. Six nothing. Five a click. Four nothing. Three and we're open. Right. Gentlemen, I have no idea what I just picked. Uh, I'm going to be very interested to find out what's in here. So, um, as I said at the beginning of the video, I have um, removed the deformable clip from the back of this thing. So, um, that is the deformable clip there and put on a circlip. Now, um, we can lock this thing back up again because we've got a key, but I don't know that we need to actually. So, um, I will just grab circlip pliers and get that circlip off of there, like so. Now I am sure as hell gonna shim this one. So let's just get a shim through there, and find a follower. Now I actually got, th this is the largest follower I've got, because I did wonder if it was gonna be the large diameter. Yeah it is, thank God for that. Okay, all right, now. Uh, we're going to whip this through, yeah, Whew, so a relief, okay, um, one, two, three, there's a uh, anti-drill pin that wants to drop out there, I think I'll do that, um, in fact there's two of them, get out of there, right, four, five, six, and seven, okay, right, well, that was fun. Now, uh, let's have a look in the Bible, because I think this is where all the action's going to be. Uh, we have in 1, a spool. We have in 2, another spool. Oh, no, we don't. What in the hell's that? Okay, I'm going to call that a combination spool and T-pin. Three is a spool. Four is another one of these combination things. Five is a spool. Six is another one of these things. Okay, and um, seven picked like a standard. I'm thinking that seven is the standard pin in this thing. Yeah, it is. Whoa, well, it's a sort of a tapered standard. Right, okay. Well, uh, let's zoom in on that so that you guys can see what we're dealing with here. Well, to say that that pinning is a little bizarre is the understatement of the year. So... <laughs> Um, we have got all standard key pins. Um, they are large brass key pins, but standard they are. They do have little bevels at the top, which is not an anti-pick feature. That's just for um, reliability. But would you look at the pinning in the Bible? Um, uh, now, those are different lengths too, aren't they? Okay, so... It looks like they've made a bit of an attempt at a balanced pin stack here. Just let me put those two together. You can see that there are two different sizes of these real weird T-pin type pin things. And uh, I'll, I'll give you a bit of a close up of those. So here is a spool that's just a bog standard spool as, as far as I can see. 
Um, but these little T-pin combination spool arrangement things, I don't really know. I've never struck that before, and I would be very grateful if someone can tell me what we're dealing with here. So it's a spool, and well, it's actually kind of a double spool because um, this spool area here is bordered by this little thing, and then we've got this here, and then it's not a T-pin. There is another lip on the bottom there that you've got to nudge it over. Um, that is is just monumentally weird so again if if somebody knows what i'm dealing with here please let me know um the core has got two little anti-drill pins right and left um it, the core is otherwise standard so there's no milling there's just a little bit of chamfering you can see around each hole here um, which again is for longevity so the idea is that this will last a little bit longer with with uh, without much maintenance all right so there we go folks um, a seven pin no name Scandinavian oval let's just zoom back out again really interesting lot to pick um, my name's Michael Maynard this is Gorilla Picking and I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the guts of this lock Thanks for watching guys.